Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today we are in the one-year Bible reading plan, June the 6th, and it is uh, the topic of boldness I want to talk to you today. We need to be bold. And um, it's the story of Peter and John in the book of Acts, chapter 4. Um, having gone to the temple to worship God and to pray, on the way they encountered this man who's been bought, who was, who's lame, been, been so for 40 years or something, and um, and he asked for silver and gold, and they said, silver and gold I have none, but what I do have I give to you in the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. And the man stands up and walks, and he doesn't just walk, he jumps and leaps and dances and makes a huge rumpus in the temple courtyard, so overwhelmingly happy he is. And he draws a crowd, Peter addresses them, speaks the word of God into their, into their hearts. Uh, and this is the point where the temple um, priests and the guard get involved and they cart Peter and John off and say, what are you doing? In whose authority have you been doing this and uh, this miracle? Uh, and uh, Peter and John tell them as it is. They said, it's the, the one you crucified, you remember Jesus? You, you killed him, but now he's risen from the dead. And it's in his name, in the power of his name, that we have commanded this man to get up and walk. Nothing to do with us. And uh, this... This boldness, we're told in verse 13, bamboozles the temple priests and the members of the council. Verse 13, the members of the council were amazed when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, for they could see that they were ordinary men with no special training in the scriptures. They also recognised them as men who had been with Jesus. So they're bamboozled by this boldness. They don't know quite what to do. They can't beat them up or, or punish them because everybody's so jubilant about this healing miracle. And so they, they release them in the end saying, as long, we'll, we'll release you as long as you don't speak in the name of Jesus anymore or teach you about him. And Peter and John say, well, we're not going to do that. But they release them anyway. And Peter and John go back to their friends, the fellow disciples, and they have a prayer meeting. And they pray, O oh Lord, hear their threats and give us your servants great boldness in preaching your word. After this prayer, the meeting place shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Then they preached the word of God with boldness. Boldness is the key word in this passage. And it's what the ho one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. That he makes us bold to proclaim the good news of Jesus and, uh, and the story about his resurrection, to be witnesses of the resurrection. Today, let's pray that the Holy Spirit might fill us with that same boldness. Because often in the West, don't we, as disciples, we become hesitant and apologetic and we shrink back and we um and ah and we apologise about the good news of Jesus rather than just saying it how it is. Wouldn't it be great if people were bamboozled by our boldness uh, rather than our apolo apologetic nature? That, that they were bamboozled by how boldly we proclaimed the good news of Jesus into their lives. Let's pray for that gift today. Let's be bold.